On this episode, we talk doors. Alright guys, so there's a lot of actually to cover when it comes to doors. So what we're going to do, we're going to break this up over a few episodes and cover a whole bunch of different things uh, with the doors, internal, external, size, colors, all different type of things with doors. Now, on today's episode, we're going to talk more particularly about types of doors. So internal and external and hinged in different ways like that. So first thing what I want to do off is start with generally what your front external and laundry doors are going to be and they're going to be a solid core door now it pretty much says it in the title that the door is solid right through so these are the doors you're going to have on your external doors like your laundries uh your your um front doors and any other places like that where you do have to have an external door then the next type of doors is hollow core door now that virtually kind of sums it up you know Different to a solid core door where it's solid right through, a hollow core door, sorry, is actually hollow inside. So there'll be a photo here right now. The way they actually build these is in sort of a honeycomb um, effect inside. So it's not fully hollow inside, but as you can see here, all the different little honeycombs. You can picture like maybe a beehive, uh, and that's what it'll be inside the hollow core door. Now, there are two types of doors, the general ones that we, we mostly use on all the jobs. Next thing I want to talk about is, is the way that can be hinged. So first things first is, is a bit of that out there sort of one is, is a pivot door. Generally, a pivot door is like a feature that you probably use on your front door. So there'll be a photo here now of how a pivot door looks different to a general hinge doors. So there are two type of ones that you're going to go for is a pivot door or you're going to have a standard sort of hinge door, you know, two, three, four hinges depending on the size of the door. Um, next thing I want to touch on is bushfire ratings. Now, if you do live in a bushfire rating um, area, then your doors may be affected. Now, you may have to do, you may have to find special fire rated doors, or you could possibly um, just have to do certain things around sealing your doors. So there are different types of things when it comes to bushfire doors. What you actually have to do. So may, you may not have to change the whole door. You may just have to seal it in a different way. Um, lastly, what I want to touch on is cavity sliding door units. Now, you can probably see a photo here too as a cavity sliding door unit. Now, I'm sure we all know what this is, how the actual door slides back into itself and creates that cavity look. You know, great um, thing for cavity sliding doors if you, you are slack on space, you don't want to have that hinged door, you know, you want to keep it open, and definitely a cavity sliding door is the way to go. All right, guys, so today we just wanted to run through all the types of sort of doors. In the upcoming episodes, we're going to look at styles. We're going to look at front door styles, we're going to look at internal door styles, and then we're going to touch on some door handles. So keep a look out for those upcoming episodes in the upcoming weeks. Um, if there is anything that you would um, you'd think you, know, you want to add to this video, definitely leave it in the comments below or any sort of questions you do have, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And if you know anyone who's interested in finding out a little bit more about doors, then tag them in the comments below as well too. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.